What's going on guys, KDG here, back with another video on Tales of Prehistoria, and in today's video, it's going to be some summons at the very end, however, I do want to cover some of the notices that I've seen that's in Facebook that I know are in the game right now, so let's go ahead and take a look at those, and then we'll get on into summoning. Alright, so limit quests, a green and swarmy night, let's take a look at that. So from Friday, October 2nd through 2020, uh, through Friday, October 16th, 2020, we're going to be getting a green and swarmy night. It's going to have, it looks like, uh, what do we have here? We have Leia and we have our boy Raven. So excited about Raven because <laughs> big Final, uh, Final Fantasy, big Tales of Vesperia fan. I'm still actually playing it right now with the Definitive Edition, trying to max everything out in that game. Uh, so I was not able to do a lot of maxing in the original version. Uh, but let's take a look at the limited memoir stones. Um, so collect slime balls and event points to get your hands on these stones. Obviously, it's like the uh, event currency, right? Um, hopefully, this one is not as grindy. And hopefully, they still give us a bunch of <laughs> like resources whenever we do a raid. Because, man, this last one has been, this has been a little killer. Um, Memorial Stone, 25, 21 percent Well, actually, no. Let's take a look. HP, 9,000. Attack at 1,300. Defense at 1,100. Not, okay, I can see where it's going here. The Memorial skill is going to be Safeguard 5 Dark. Plus 21% defense, Dark Allies. That's going to come clutch, um, especially for my dark team. One of my units will have that on, I'm sure. And then obviously you guys know it's going to have the event bonus of 20% attack. So you know I'm going to be having that on somebody. <laughs> All right. Then looking at Memorial Stone for Raven, a green and swarmy knight. HP 4,500. Attack at 1,500. Defense 600. Not bad. Um, crit damage plus 85% with Torrent Torment 3 uh, to win allies right there. Not bad. Plus 10% attack as well for the event bonus so it's gonna be a nice addition and i believe this is gonna be a win focus event so win units will be shining in this so my win team's okay it's not the best but uh these memorial stones are definitely going to help out all right so we do have ways to play so style one is clear the quest and raise in the green this one night collect the slime balls and trade them for rewards in the exchange you get the slime ball right there style two uh, clear the quest and raise in the green swarming knight to collect event points. You'll then receive rewards in relation to the points earned. Okay, same thing we've been doing pretty much. However, we have a new way, which is find the find and defeat rare enemies to open raids. So uh, during a green swarming knight quest, there is a slight chance of the rare enemy Terra Pole Wiggle appearing, and that's the one on the right hand side. So. What do we get for that though? Okay, so defeat the terror Paul Wiggle to receive the Paul Wiggle plushies that can be used to open raids, as well as items for the use on the Ascension Board, Rainbow Elixirs, and other great items. Okay, so the Ascension Board as well. Okay, not bad. Uh, so there's a great chance to get your hands on rare items because the Paul Wiggle World Fun Ambassador raid is difficult to unlock. Man, they who writes this stuff really? <laughs> it gets you to increase amount of slime balls that we reward after clearing it so obviously get these turret paul wiggles right here um get your hands on those uh, rare items right there and i believe you should be getting a lot of like the actual paul wiggle plushie if you do come in contact with that terra paul wiggle so not bad all right so how do you events and bonus works where you know that right now so the characters uh, that are here will be getting a plus extra 50 percent attack boost as built and stuff which is what we're going for right so same thing with kohaku decided to pull for her or if you already have her right now obviously guys and then the memorial stone is down there as well all right so this is going to be going from friday october 2nd through october 22nd for the exchange period so you have a couple of days after the back end if you didn't get a chance to use all of your points um so that there's that right there guys all right that's quickly talking about that we have the limited time raid notice so there's going to be two new raid bosses this time around so ultra tough raids planned for october um as you guys already know how we do this we got like four days to pretty much play um these raids and get these items right here the, the crystals um looks like the first one's going to be a leviathan assault so it's going to be uh water based so bring your what is it your wind team or maybe it's going to be i can't remember is it water then yes bring your wind team i believe yeah your wind team um <laughs> i could just look down here to tell you all right so from friday october 9th through tuesday october 13th i guess we've got an extra couple well no it's still four days um you'll have the uh chance to get those essential board materials and obviously velvet here is going to be one of those characters that's going to be useful here 
we already know what she does already. I'm not going to go over that character. And then on October 22nd through October 26th, we have the Jade Jacked Wiss. Man, who writes this stuff? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> so it's going to be light right here. So bring, obviously, your dark team here. Um, like Ludger is pretty good. He has a couple more uh, units to max him out, essentially. But I do believe they're going to be having a summon for him. I'm sure closer to that. He might be like the featured summon um, for that particular part of the game. Of, of, of the month, essentially, right? Alright, so that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into these summons, guys. So I got 15k Gleamstone. Let's go ahead and take a look. Go to summons. Here we go. Premium summons right here for Estelle and Aswell. Let's take a look at the content really quickly. So as you guys can see, we got a good bit of new SSRs that we can pull for. Obviously, Colette's in there. Um, that's new. You got Asbel and Estelle at the very top. Yuna, which I did not pull for. We might hopefully get her. Hopefully, right? Um, I could use some more Estelle's though. Regular Estelle's. Because she does do, you know, damage on the back end of her uh, Mystic Art. Instead of the this one right here, which just only heals. Um, I didn't get Mikleo either. And I could use, you know... Obviously, I can use just about every single one here that I do not have maxed out. Like, just even the Memorial Stones I could use. <laughs> so, anyway, let's go ahead and back out of that and go in to the summons. All right, here we go. First summon coming up. Let's get it. All right, come on. Don't fail me now. I haven't summoned in a while ever since Mikleo, so. And, yeah. <laughs> this is why I don't summon really in this game like that anymore. Now, it's only the first one. I don't need to be so negative, right? Because we still have about five more summons to go. And any of these could turn. Who knows? But from the looks of it, I don't think that's happening here. Okay. Raven. And the last one. No change. Okay, cool. Whatever. We'll keep it moving. First one was a dud, but let's go and get into the next one. All right, here we go. Can we get a switch? Uh, no, we can't. All right, <laughs> so just two more this time as well. All right. I don't think we're going to get anything on this one. I should go ahead and skip it, but you never know. It's been a while since I actually got an SSR out of this game. But we'll see if any change, so we're not going to rush through it or skip it. We'll see. Alright, cool. So nothing on that one either. So <laughs> we're going to keep it going, guys. Alright, one more summon. Hopefully one of these can be what we need. If we get a uh, SSR, hopefully it will be either one or two of what we need and of course not it's over my luck today man I usually have better luck than this hmm come on don't don't do me like this don't do me dirty come on now And the last one. <sighs> Not what we needed. <laughs> Alright. We got enough for three more summons. Let's go ahead and get another one in. Alright, we gotta get something here. Come on. Alright, finally we're getting something. Hopefully just hopefully more than one. Uh just one. But one, you know, one of these blues could change. Oh, Yuri, are you serious? Uh, I mean, he's dark. I can still use him. And he attacks all the enemies on the field. So I'm not going to be mad about that. We got one SSR as a dupe, but it is what it is. Right. Will any of these change? I don't think they will. And it is what it is. Rip. Last one. Yeah, I'm so tired of seeing Ruka. <laughs> I really am. All right, two more guys. Um, let's go ahead and get it. Right, here we 
we go. Come on, come on, change. Yes. Okay, we got another change. Good. All right, we got one this time again. Hopefully, it's what we need or want. Hopefully, it's Asbel. If it's Asbel, I'll be happy. If it's Estelle, I'll still be happy, but I really want Asbel. <laughs> I really want Asbel. Kratos. There we go. Kohaku. Not Kohaku. Uh, Kanono. Not what we wanted, guys. <laughs> Not what we wanted. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Ah, another dupe, man. All right, here's the last one, guys. <laughs> not looking good at all for me all right here we go it's at night it's probably going to be nothing in this one right here either but we'll see come on come on come on yep rip for me i don't think this is going to be anything nope nothing there nothing there Hmm. Yep, Rip City. 15k Gleamstone. We didn't get anything new. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Alright. We'll do one mo little single summon. We'll see what this gets us. Probably nothing, I know. But, uh, gotta keep hope alive. Hopefully, we get something, right? Oh, okay, going gold. And. Can it change? I'm not gonna hit anything. Oh my god! You gotta be killing, kidding me. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Oh, another freaking dupe! Yo, what is up with this game? That that is oh my gosh, that's a little ridiculous, guys. Oh my god. We got a dupe Ruti. Oh my god. I mean I know they're dupes, and I know that Asbel and Estelle will always be in the general pool. But man, three dupes, and I'm supposed to have a higher chance of getting Asbel and Estelle. That uh, I got a higher chance of getting a bunch of dupes, right? Anyway, guys, that one hurts a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna wrap it up here. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I've been KDG. Hope you guys are having better luck than me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.